Welcome artists and art fans of all ages. I'm Jessie Wozniak, Curator of Education at Artist Naples, home of the Baker Museum and the Naples Philharmonic. Today, we will explore how artists use geometry to make abstract art. First, we'll look at some examples of abstract art together. Then I'll show you a fun way to use geometry to make your own artwork. Now, let's get started. Abstract art is a style of art that doesn't represent real objects. It's about shape, color, line, and other art elements that make up the composition. Instead of painting a picture of a person, or a tree, or a bowl of fruit, these artists painted geometric shapes like squares, rectangles, triangles, and circles as the subjects of their art. The artist Vasily Kandinsky believed that imagination is what allows your mind to discover. Let's see what we can discover with a little imagination. What geometric shapes do you see in this painting by Kazimir Malevich? I see lots of rectangles and squares in different sizes and colors. Can you find the blue rectangle? Does it look like it's in front of the red line and the black rectangle? The way the shapes are arranged makes it seem like one shape is in front of the others. By overlapping these shapes, the artist is giving the illusion of space and depth. Some rectangles are placed horizontally or side to side. Other shapes are placed diagonally, as if they're floating from one corner of the painting to the other. Some of the shapes look like they're going right off the edge of the painting. Can you imagine some of these shapes moving? What direction would the green rectangle go? What shape do you think would move the fastest? It can be fun to use your imagination when looking at art. Now, let's see how another artist uses geometry in his art. This artist, Piet Mondrian, didn't want to create artwork that looked like something you could see in nature. He uses line, shape, and color as the subject of his painting to create harmony and rhythm. The title of the painting is Lozenge Composition with Yellow, Black, Blue, Red, and Gray. Lozenge is another name for a rhombus or a diamond shape. Did you notice that the shape of the actual painting is a diamond? The diamond is divided by a grid of black horizontal and vertical lines. Remember that horizontal lines go from side to side and vertical lines go up and down. Where these perpendicular lines meet, they create 90 degree angles. This gives the artwork a very precise and balanced look. The spaces created by the black lines are filled with specific colors, yellow, blue, and red. These are the primary colors. Which of these colors fills the largest area? Which color is the smallest area? Can you imagine what this painting would look like with other colors like green or orange? The artist also used primary values of black, white, and gray. What do you think it would look like if all of the spaces were painted in the primary colors and no white or gray was used at all? If you painted your own abstract art, what colors or shapes would you want to use? Now we get to be the artists and create abstract art using geometry and a little imagination. You'll need tape. Painter's tape works best, but any masking tape will do. Scissors a piece of wood, canvas, or other flat surface to paint on, acrylic or tempera paint, and paint brushes, plus water to clean your brushes with. I'll start by using the tape to create lines and shapes for my abstract art. You can create any design you like. You can use horizontal lines, vertical lines, or diagonal lines. Be sure to press the tape down as smoothly as you can. When you've finished placing the tape, the next step is painting the shapes you've created. You can use just the primary colors, or you can use every color in the color wheel. You can paint each section a different color, or your colors can blend together and overlap. It's entirely up to you. When you've painted all the sections, you're ready to peel up the tape and reveal your geometric abstract art. There are many possibilities to explore when using geometry to make art. You can use this same tape art process to create a chalk art design on your sidewalk, or look around your home for different geometric shapes of everyday objects and arrange them together as a work of abstract art and take a photo. 
see how many different combinations you can create. I hope you enjoyed discovering more about abstract art and feel inspired to create your own artwork. Remember, imagination is what allows your mind to discover. Check out artistnaples.org to learn more about our programs. Thanks for watching and see you next time.